This is YSM Sports Media. I want to thank you for all your love and support. We really appreciate it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and then click the notification button for all future content. Right now, the country's on lockdown with the coronavirus and we don't even know when boxing is going to resume. But let's look at some possible opponents for Terrence Crawford and see who we should fight next. So, Bud and Bo Mack constantly complain that they're not getting the, the biggest fights possible and that none of the PBC guys will fight them and that they only want to fight the best, right? And Bud always ends up fighting either a no-hoper or a guy that's best days are you know, behind him, right? I'm a big Bud fan. I think he's pound for pound, uh, number one, but that's just the reality of the situation. The first fight that's on everybody's mind is Earl Spence. That's just not happening anytime soon, right? Earl's coming off of a, a horrific car crash and you don't want to put him up against somebody like Crawford when you don't know how his body will react to getting hit. It's one thing to train. It's another thing for that body that's been through a lot already to take punishment, swelling, cuts, nah. And like I said, he's going to fight a tune up first. He can miss me with all that. Oh, I'm going right back into the fire. Manny Pacquiao, Danny Garcia. No, nah, you ain't. It's going to be a tune up. Probably the IBF mandatory. Then you have Manny Pacquiao, right? Pacquiao's 41 years old. He's earned the right to fight whoever he wants, when he wants. And that's just not a fight that's going to happen at this point in Manny's career. Manny's looking for a winnable fight for the best money. And Bud isn't that. And the funny thing is, Manny affects the division the most because everybody wants him and everybody's going to wait to see which opponent he picks and try to get in on that sweepstakes. So I don't see that fight happening. Then you have Sean Porter, right? Because of their friendship, this is a fight that I'm not sure will happen. Uh, it was already presented um, by Bob. But Crawford and Porter said that they needed to talk about it, being that they've been friends a long time. And right now, I see no plus side for Crawford to take this fight, even though Porter would be the best opponent available and the best opponent he has faced. I just doubt he'll do it at this point in time. Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia is really waiting for Manny Pacquiao and Earl Spence. Um, those are two lucrative fights and better fights than actually Terrence Crawford. So I doubt he'll jump over to ESPN in the top rank and fight Crawford. Crawford is a difficult fight that's not going to bring as much money as the other two and as much notoriety. Sad to say, that's the business of boxing. Then there's Mikey Garcia, right? Mikey Garcia is coming off of a unanimous decision win against Jesse Vargas. And um, he struggled against Errol Spence, didn't look good. Mikey's still a big name in boxing. It's a winnable fight for Bud. It's a fight that people will go see. And fans will want to see, can Bud stop him when Earl couldn't? So that, that, that that's, a, that's a solid option. And lastly, Kel Brook. This is the one I think that Bud should do. Kel Brook, right? We haven't seen Brook at 147 since his loss to Errol Spence. He's been campaigning at 154. He's a naturally big guy. And you'll be able to see what he does against a man that is significantly bigger than him. So whereas though you could possibly gauge him with uh, Spence, only difference is, is like uh, Brook's not a softball. But I feel like this is a good fight. It's a very winnable fight. Kel Brook is still a solid name in boxing. It's a fight that Brooke actually wants and is pining for. So it's a fight that should happen next. Um, let me know in the comments below. Who do you want to see Crawford fight next? And when will boxing resume in your opinion? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. YSM Sports Media. We out.